Um, <laughs> and I didn't repeat it for the... Anyway, hi, I'm Ellie. This is my presentation. It's called Mentoring Metamorphosis. Moving on. Uh, I'm EKL 1773 on Slack and Twitter and pretty much everywhere. So if you need to find me, I'm either me or other me. Pretty Googleable. Uh, that's me in a tree. Um, so a little background on how I got into this. I started with Drupal in 2013 or so. I was teaching myself to be a web developer. I've not quite succeeded in that because I've become a communications and marketing person for the moment, but I am still writing some documentation and contributing to Drupal in non-code ways, like organizing mentors and um, helping out the Drupal diversity and inclusion leadership team and cheerleading, generally. Um, but I came to Drupal because of core mentoring, and I went to just a random open source event in the DC area in 2013, and uh, I don't think Jesse's in the room, but Jesse Beach was there and said, hey, you should come try Drupal, it's a really wonderful community, and there are uh, core office hours you can join on IRC at the time that, uh, that introduced newcomers to how to contribute to Drupal, and it's kind of similar to what we do at DrupalCons now with the first timers workshops. So unfortunately core office hours are no longer a thing since we've gotten Drupal 8 out the door and primarily now we're doing mentoring and workshops at DrupalCons, Drupal Camps, other large events. So that's how I got involved with the team. Um, we've got DrupalCon Vienna on the left and DrupalCon Seattle team on the right there. So um, historically we had the core office hours online and that really focused around enabling newcomers with tools, with understanding the issue queue, um, with getting an account on drupal.org, with joining IRC, now Slack, um, and just getting more contributors to make even the smallest of contributions to Drupal core uh, on board to do that on their own. Um, and at this point we're as a Drupal diversity and inclusion person, I'm also very interested in encouraging more people from underrepresented groups in contributing to core. But I think that's a slightly related talk. Um, so, what do mentors do? Um, it's not giving you a fish, it's teaching you how to fish. Uh, this is something that XJM taught a lot of us. Um, that you really need to show where to look for the information you need and how to ask when you need help. So that's uh, how to dig into drupal.org for various documentation and guides and um, getting involved guides, all of that, and also what channel to ask for help in and how to ask. Uh, Ideally, we are providing a neutral and friend friendly route for new contributors to approach contributing. So that's getting you in the door without saying, oh, here's an issue, you know, go for it. Or, no, no, you did that wrong, start over. Uh, we're pretty objective and hopefully very helpful. Has anybody here actually been to the first timers workshop yet this week? There's one on Tuesday, no? Okay. Well, there's one tomorrow morning too. There's hoping to get like a quick vote on how that went, but that's cool. Um, and we have the same tools and documentation to support new contributors at events and afterwards, so you can continue on your own. Um, Drupal core mentoring, if you saw the keynote on Monday, I gave a similar overview, started around DrupalCon Denver, uh, XJM got us going with the core office hours and sort of uh, metamorphosed from there. Is that the right conjugation? Um, and there are a lot of people to thank along the way. So XJM and YesCT and Ally Mack um, for my very core mentoring team for me, like uh, really got me started with the concepts, passed along a lot of wisdom and uh, got things going for everyone to use. So at this point we're more focused as a mentoring team on organizing for the large events, DrupalCon North America and Drupal Europe. Um, there are also subsets of the team who uh, focus more on Drupal camps. 
and use some of the same materials for those. And we're always iterating and changing, which I'm going to get to a little, long, uh, little later in the presentation. So what does it take to run mentoring at a DrupalCon? We have all of these wonderful leads, and I left the dots at the bottom because I'm terrified I've forgotten someone. Um, but we have folks who are running the first timers workshop. We have folks who are running novice issue triage. So there are um, pretty straightforward issues to work on straight away for newcomers. We've got the booth downstairs you've probably seen. There's always somebody there to help you get started. Or if there's no one there, I should bump that. Um, we leave materials on the table so you can self help a bit. And we're also always available in Drupal Slack. Um, I could call everybody out, but get the idea. Um, mentoring lead coordinator is the role I usually play. Uh, it's <coughs> often running meetings, organizing things, keeping track of issues. We have a planning issue for every DrupalCon that tracks similar tasks uh, just to organize everything from the booth to uh, the workshop to the novice issue triage, all of that. So it's all documented where we can all find it. Um, <clears throat> and also being a mentor to other mentors and coordinating the efforts. So it's a it's a lot of project management, honestly. And that's that's mostly my role. The photo is from DrupalCon Nashville. We organized a community panel. So these were all the leads, mentoring leads for DrupalCon Nashville and everybody presented for a couple minutes on what their role entailed. Um, communications lead is a role I have done in the past, and I am super happy that Merrill is taking it over for this DrupalCon. And that's another thing we're really working on is having deputies in each role. So there's always somebody sort of in training to take over so none of us burn out. And uh, I'll probably talk more about that later too. Um, this is our Twitter page. I uh, try to put info out at least around DrupalCon. We usually do email communications from MailChimp as well, but uh, we've got some GDPR opt-ins to collect first. It's an ongoing process. And also just coordinating with the conference organizers, whether that's the Drupal Association, who have been really fantastic supporting us and shipping things around the world from our banner to the box of supplies and um, <coughs> just arranging the contribution space as well, putting up walls and TVs and all that. Um, so communicating with the conference organizers is also quite key. <clears throat> um, booth lead, this is actually just from yesterday, We've got Reka and Merrill sitting in our booth downstairs. Um, booth lead organizes other mentors to sit in the exhibit hall at the booth. We've got a spreadsheet, everybody signs up, we try to cover all the time if possible. Um, and the booth is also a place where any mentor can hang out and greet passers-by, whether they are folks who want to be mentors or folks who want to be contributors. We've got a handy sheet available to uh, help you participate in the booth, uh, just so you can answer some basic questions or point someone to another mentor who knows the answers. Um, usually this role also involves the logistics, like stickers, task cards, and mentor shirts. The task cards are these things down here, they are color-coded. Color Sorry. Hmm. The task cards are in the lower half of the photo, and they have um, sort of steps on them for what you might do in that role. So there's one for documentation and just some steps through that, and you kind of go through them in order if you wish, or skip around. Take a look. They are downstairs. I don't think the exhibit hall closes quite yet. Um, yeah. And we're right next to the DDI booth, so... We often sort of overlap a little bit. A lot of the mentors are also diversity and inclusion folks. Diversity and inclusion folks are also mentors. And whoever is around in a booth can often greet folks at either, which is kind of cool. Uh, novice issue triage is just collecting some issues for folks to work on that won't be super intimidating to start. So that's something where a new contributor can come in and get into the issue and have a good experience with it. So they're not going to be reading through 200 comments to figure out what's happening. It'll just be pretty ready to roll with. Uh, the bit.ly link there is for issues tagged with DrupalCon Amsterdam. 
the tag on drupal.org is Amsterdam 2019. Um, <clears throat> didn't pour myself water, that was foolish. Um, yeah, and we run the issue triage on, I think it was Monday this week, for collecting the issues in advance, and they should all be ready for you tomorrow. Uh, first time contributor workshop, we used to only run this once a week. Thank you. Um, but we found that there were a lot of folks who maybe couldn't stick around for contribution day. Um, maybe, thank you, pardon me. <coughs> um, folks couldn't stick around for the contribution day. Or uh, what's really helpful for conference Wi-Fi is getting tools and stuff installed earlier on, so then a new contributor is enabled to keep contributing throughout the week. <clears throat> uh, either way, we've now got two different workshops at most Drupal cons, and I think it's going really well so far. Oh, uh, I should also say that that's the workshop introduces you to a lot of the, the core tools, whether you are doing a code contribution or documentation or organizing or marketing or what have you, um, there's some training that will work for anyone. And then if you do want to work on code, stick around, <coughs> install the tools, so forth. Then the mentored contribution room lead sort of sorts people out into the room get you to the right table for an issue you want to work on or an initi initiative or uh, whatever it is you want to do. That one's pretty straightforward. And then we're on to my update section here, which is good. I think I'm making good time. Um, what is next for Drupal mentoring? So as I said about the workshop, we had some discussions after Seattle about how the workflow happens in that workshop. And it seemed like, I think we were starting the workshop saying, start installing the tools, start downloading, start running this process, we'll go through some slides, show you some of the basics, and then we'll come back to the tools installation, which actually left a lot of people who didn't really need the tools stuck in the installation process. So this time around, we've changed things a little bit, and um, we're hoping that we just enable everybody to do the basics of contribution with the issue queue and Slack and other tools like that, and then continue on to tools installation, technical tools, uh, if needed. And the tools package I'm talking about is something called Quick Sprint. It's a wrapper around the DDEV local, environment, uh, local development environment tool uh, that provides just some of the basic stuff you might need if you don't already have something set up on your laptop. So, and this chart was something Gabor put together to illustrate how you might select what room you're going to. So maybe you want to contribute, you have some time to do so. Yes, I, you have the tools that you want to use. If you don't, you go to the workshop. If you do uh, just need help with the process, like finding a task, then you can head straight to Mentored Contribution and learn how to do the process of contribution. So this flowchart inspired us to make a bigger flowchart, which is actually a little small for even me to read right here. Um, but similar, and I'm not going to walk away from the mic, similar idea, there are different types of contribution you can do, which are represented in the colored boxes there. Um, yeah. You get the idea. We like flowcharts. I like flowcharts. I don't want to speak for everybody. Um, and this was uh, Chris Dark's work. And he also put together this for once you're inside the workshop, um, just as a, a simple way to say, what do you want to do today? I'm here to work on code and patches. Go to drupal.org slash tools and follow the instructions to start downloading the tools. And otherwise, I want to contribute in other ways. There's a sample list of other ways to contribute. Just wait for the presentation to start and you'll learn how to use drupal.org and the issue queue and so forth. Um, we've worked on a lot of other kind of new stuff recently. So the toolkit itself started evolving a little bit and that's always a lot of coordination over time zones and um, what is going to be in the toolkit, what do new contributors really need to contribute, which is something we're still defining in an ongoing process. 
Um, but overhauling the workshop was kind of our big change for the past year. Before that, there were changes around transitioning away from the big push to Drupal 8, and the push to Drupal 9 has been very different, I would say. Um, and yeah, the other important, exciting, I hope exciting new thing that we're working on as a mentoring lead team is actually defining our roles better and talking more about formalizing our governance and how we can bring in new people to take on the roles, how we might evaluate people for those roles, and just, uh, I think it's a sign that we are growing in a really good way that we need to formalize that process more. So that's something we've really just started in the last couple weeks. And that's the metamorphosis part. So, I've got four minutes left, I think. Do join us tomorrow. <coughs> Questions? Anybody? Not one question. All right. Thank you. I need to start talking slower or something.